Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to check if website is legit or scam. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you check if a website is legit or is a scam? Well, checking if a website is legit is actually pretty easy. You just need to make sure to check one of the indicators that I'll be showing you later on. So first things first is you need to open up any browser that you have right now. And from here, what we need to do first is we need to look at the URL of the actual website. So there are a few indicators here to actually see if a website is secure. So for example, we are in this website here. So first thing you want to do is you want to go to the URL section at the very top here, which is just under the tab section. Whenever you click on it, you should be, uh, be able to highlight it. But what you need to do is you need to double click on it until you see the HTTP or HTTPS section here. Now, what, why are we looking at this section here or specifically in this section? Well, the thing here is uh, typically websites or trusted websites actually use HTTPS. Like for example, for this website, they are using HTTPS. So meaning the actual connection itself is uh, actually pretty secure. So it means that the, uh, the website that we are currently visiting is most likely a legit website. So some scam websites would actually use HTTP instead of HTTPS. So typically this is what it's going to look like, just HTTP and the actual address. But this, in this case, this kind of websites are actually all, are not secure and it is, uh, they are, or there is a high chance that they are, they are a, actually a scam. So in this case, look for the URL and see if they have an S on the HTTP section here so make sure that you, they are using https now in this case sometimes websites with our scam websites would actually use https here so what are the other sections or things that we could consider looking at whenever identifying if a website is actually legit so one of them is through the url section again so you should be able to see a filter icon here next to https or the actual url so whenever you click on it you have the, the option to uh, basically view a few things here so in this case, let me just reload the website here. Let's go and click on the view site information button. And from here, you have the connection is secure section. Go ahead and click on it. Now from here, you have the section that says certificate is valid. So if a website certificate is actually valid, it means that the website is more uh, most likely secure and as well as uh, actually legit. So if you do see it, it means the website is pretty legit here. So you don't, won't have to worry about anything. But then again, this is not enough. You still need to look at different sections and different things here. So another thing that you could look at is to make sure that the actual spelling of the website is correct. Like for example, in this case, like for example, if you see Canva here, so it means that make sure the correct spelling of that website is correct here. So sometimes they would use like a different text instead. So it might be a very, very small uh, variation. Like for example, instead of using V, they might use Y. So instead of using um, N, they might use R. So in this case, uh, it's not that not noticeable, but it is a great idea to basically make sure that you're actually accessing the correct website with the correct spelling. Now that again, scam websites would actually use a different name that is quite close on the website that they are co copying. So again, make sure that you're uh, accessing a website that has a correct spelling on the URL. Now, in this case, another indication here is the actual website's uh, text. So sometimes they would actually place, so since they actually rapidly create their websites, they would have like incorrect spellings on it. Like for example, uh, instead of saying education, they would actually have this in a uh, different text or in this case, a different or in the wrong spelling or a wrong format. So instead of using education, they might say like, use K instead of instead of C. So look for those kind of indications. So if there, there are any incorrect spellings, then most likely that website is actually a scam. So in this case, that's the limit of what we could actually find ourselves with identifying if a website is actually a legit or a scam. Now, another thing that you could do here is you could actually use the power of the internet. So for example, you could just basically type in the name of the actual website that you're uh, actually looking for. Like for example, let's go ahead and type in it, it in here. And let's just say, is it legit? 
So there are actually different platforms and different uh, websites that you could visit and uh, just identifying if someone something is actually legit. So one of them is going to be like Reddit and which is a really powerful tool different people can actually connect in this platform identifying if uh, certain websites are actually legit. They also have like blog spots here uh, saying if a website is legit. Though so they do the review for you, they try the websites uh, for you and uh, provide a review itself. Now they have trustbudget.com here which is again a trusted website to see if something is actually legit. So again, there are going to be a lot of sources here that you can visit and identify if something is legit. Now, as you can see, for this one, it was actually going to actually uh, do recommendations and uh, actually give you an idea if something is actually legit. But yeah, so in this case, those are the things that you could do here and uh, see if something is actually legit uh, or a scam and uh, or basically identifying if the website is actually legit or a scam. But in this case, that's about it. So, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.